r slash perfect fit dad's toolbox under this table uh if that's your dad's toolbox you don't have a dad you have a mom Howdy at Canelo h Joe's Roller Bros, and Walter Fates alike, and I just want to give you a little bit of a warning. If you are not subscribed to this channel, if you don't like this video before watching it, if you don't leave a comment letting me know why you love or hate this video, you're not a true YouTube viewer, and I just can't accept you into this community. So, with that said, the choice is yours if you want to be a true YouTube viewer or not, but let's get into these cringy posts. If you didn't lose a job, you don't have ADHD. <laughs> Pung out face. That's right, guys. If you're able to manage your ADHD to the point where you can keep a steady job, your diagnosis was incorrect and you need to get out. If you are bi and willingly enter into a straight relationship, then you are disowned from the queer community. You no longer matter. You are disgusting if you enter a het relationship when you have the option not to. That is fact. Hashtag bi people do not matter. Hashtag I have no sympathy for you poop heads. Hashtag you get to pretend you're one of us when you really just want extra attention and to abuse people. Hashtag I cannot trust bi people. Hashtag you're all lying fricks who use your identities to get into other people's heads and mess them up. Yeah, yeah, because if you're bi and you're in a relationship with one of the, the two genders you're attracted to, you're, you're disowned from the community. If you decide to be attracted to one of the two genders that you're attracted to, that makes you not bi... Sex, you're gay now. Can someone attempt to explain this logic to me? Because this has 115,000 notes on Tumblr, and the only way that I could really explain that is if it's satire. If you're over 55 and your dog breed isn't on this list, get rid of them. Yeah, I'm sorry, Spot. I know we've been friends for five years, but I'm just too elderly to take care of you anymore. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I gotta throw you in the trash. Wow, thanks for posting this. Been vegan for about a month now, and sometimes I really wish I could just grab an egg. It's important to be reminded of why it's not worth it to give in to cravings. <laughs> if you're a real vegan and you truly care, you wouldn't have cravings. What the hell, man? Really? People like you are the reason people are opposed to veganism. I really hope you're kidding. Yeah, you know, because I'm slightly craving an egg that could have never possibly turned into an actual chicken, it means that I want to maul animals to death. Age 10, I hate pink and dresses and girly things. Age 20, I like all of those things. Character development. Nope, that would be called successful female socialization in a patriarchal society. Please do not use feminism to shame my interests. I like pink and dresses and art and music and fashion. I also like blue and sports and comics, and I choose not to wear makeup and have had short hair for the past five years. I'm a person with feminine and masculine interests. I have not been socialized to be more feminine. I have adopted new interests, grown as a person, and learned to embrace both my feminine and my masculine sides. If you want to do a feminist reading on this silly comic about how I've changed over the past decade, maybe you should look at why I actively avoid things typically viewed as feminine. You're not helping feminism by making me feel like I don't have control over myself. You're not helping feminism by shaming girls who consider themselves more feminine than masculine. Thank you and goodbye. Yeah, how about you just let, let people be what they want to be and stop trying to blame it on societal issues? You're white, you aren't South African, and you never will be. I was born in South Africa to parents born there too. My skin color doesn't change that fact. Boo hoo doesn't change my fact either. It's like an Indian guy going to China and calling himself Chinese. Yeah, no, get the hell out of my continent. No, I actually 100% agree with this. I'm not American. Native Americans are the only true Americans. I actually have no nationality whatsoever. How to choose laptop. Boys, RAM, graphic card, processor, cache, display size, backlit, keyboard, HDMI port, clock speed, battery, number of RAM slots, girls, color, size, camera. Was this posted in like 2010? Because I can't remember the last time somebody actually cared that much about the quality of their webcam. I mean, unless the girl really cares about video chatting, but I can't remember the last time I took a selfie with my webcam. If you're not from the USA Deep South, could you please stop saying and writing the word y'all? I get <laughs> legit embarrassed for you. One could argue it's also a form of cultural appropriation. Say or write you or you all, or draw from your own cultural slang. Or as you live in blank, ye, yiz, yizzer, and yous are all acceptable. <laughs> yizzer? That is not a that's not a phrase anywhere. Why? 
do so many white people speak non-white languages? Cultural appropriation is a real issue, okay? Another one of these one we got two in a row. One of the worst cases of this is in the realm of second languages. Caucasians love to appropriate cultures through language as a way to intrude the lives of those who might not speak their language. It's seen as fun or interesting. For those of you into anime, I'm sure you're aware of the weeaboo problem. Some white anime fans love to appropriate Japanese hairstyles, music tastes, and even the Japanese language itself. This is one blog that demonstrates the problems of non-Japanese people learning Japanese. Spanish is another issue, and Tumblr has had this debate before. You see so many white kids at high school or college who are proud to be able to speak Spanish. Why not speak a European language like German instead of appropriating the culture of minorities? This has to be a troll because they're like, why don't people speak European languages, these Caucasians? They're trying to speak Spanish. It's like, did you forget about Spain? And yet, no, we should all just live in our individual countries and not be able to communicate with one another whatsoever. It's a terrible idea to learn another country or culture's language so you can talk to them and connect with them. If you can't pronounce it, you can't have it. Asai. I've never wanted to not support a business more than in this moment. Joe and the Juice, you are canceled. JK. Spot the man. Oh, I'm gonna guess it's the big bearded one in the middle. I can almost guarantee that this Instagram page, Beard Brothers, has some sort of sponsorship with, like, a beard oil that's supposed to grow your beard so that they can make people feel inadequate and then try to sell them something. <laughs> you think it's hard to be long distance with your boyfriend? Try being long distance with every friend you made in college for the rest of your life. Yeah, it's, it's almost like it's hard to be far away from the people you love in general. General, and it isn't just a thing specific to the friends you make in college. Cheerleaders to normal people. Oh my god, I'm so flexible. Dancers to cheerleaders. <laughs> you're cute. Yeah, if your legs can't look like a longbow from Skyrim, you're just not flexible. I'm sorry. Friendly reminder that you don't get to celebrate Lunar New Year unless you've literally come from a country that does or if you were invited from someone who is from a country that does. Friendly reminder that I hereby formally invite everyone to celebrate Lunar New Year. Wow, isn't that crazy? It's almost like you don't make the rules on who can and can't celebrate what. Non-black people should do an inventory of how many times they post images of black people reaction gifs and memes because digital blackface is a thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm clearly not allowed to relate to reactions or expressions of any black person. I can't use that to represent how I'm feeling in any given situation. That would make me incredibly racist, and I would never want to come off that way. I would never want to use the face of a black person to rep represent myself. We are just different species. Honestly, though, I would like to hear if anybody has a genuine argument for digital blackface being a thing. This is not life. This is life. Yeah, if your windows aren't at ground level, you are not living an actual life. Dude just caught a shark with his bare hands. Uh, it's just a bonnet head shark. Try catching a five foot alligator from a moving boat or jumping on the back of an eight foot gator from a moving boat, lol. Send in a video, Timmy Tough Nuts. Nah, I kinda get where this dude's coming from. It might sound hard to catch a shark bare handed, but all you need is 96 fishing, 76 strength, and a little bit of barbarian training. <laughs> This one's just so freaking weird. If you notice the black hole in the background of the picture before Emma Watson, then you are a true physics lover. Thick is everything. If your girl is not thick, throw her away. She is empty and has nothing to offer. But we, the thick, can bless you with an abundance of blessings. Bless you with an abundance of blessings. There is nothing wrong with being proud of yourself, but when you go to the point of saying that if somebody wasn't born with a certain body type or they don't have a certain body type that they have nothing to offer, that's just pretty ridiculous. This might be satirical, but this person also photoshopped their pictures so that they would have a thinner waist and larger hips, so I think that says a lot. Hey, if you don't like my cat Padme, then you're not allowed to follow me on Twitter or Instagram at QStarVideos, but if, if you do, you can find those in the description down below alongside my Twitch link. I'm going to be trying to do more streaming over there. I tried to stream Apex Legends earlier this week, and it was terrible. It would run fine on my computer, but then it wouldn't stream well for some reason, so I don't know what the deal was there, but I do try to do streaming on Twitch, so I might be playing RuneScape or something like that in the future, so stay tuned. Follow me on Twitter for notifications 
notifications about that sort of thing you can also find amazon affiliate links for all of the equipment i use in the description down below uh the cool thing about those is if you click them and then do other shopping on amazon i also get credit for that but regardless of all of that stuff make sure you're skating on to the best of your abilities i hope you guys are all doing well drink more water and i will see you very soon